most women past the age of um, 30 uh, or after having kids, really um, a lot of them lose interest in sex. And uh, for them, other things become important. Their children, uh, being told that they're, uh, they're special, being told that they're love, uh, hugging and caressing and being adorned and uh, admired and, uh, and pampered and, and paid attention to and all that. And then they reluctantly give sex as a reward for receiving all those things, all of the above, including financial support, of course. Whereas uh, most men, most healthy men, heterosexual healthy men, until the age of sometime 80, are still ready to jump, uh, jump a woman's bones uh, that they find attractive or whatever they can get. That is just the way nature works. And this is uh, one of the root problems where uh, marriages fall apart, relationships fall apart, where she says, well, is sex all you want? Well, the answer is, to all the women who don't know, pretty much yes. He is not interested in any of the other things except, uh, you know, uh, having that uh, physical need met. And this is why prostitution is the world's oldest profession and will continue until the end of the human race. Because it, it provides men with a, uh, a fulfillment of a need that they have pretty much till death unless they're unhealthy or, or, you know, some other problems. Most men, I'd say great majority of men, want sex pretty much on demand whenever uh, they feel like it. Some feel like it, you know, five times a week. Some feel like it two times a week, some less, some more. But this is the, I'm trying to provide uh, a, a, a window of understanding for men into a woman's mind and for women into a man's mind. And this is uh, honestly, if you talk to these um, people that uh, are call themselves marriage counselors or relationship experts, they will tell you the same thing. You know, she looks at uh, giving sex as a reward and a chore. And he looks at something that he signed up for when he said, I do. It's really as simple as that. And uh, for women that, that, that you know, uh, that uh, hold that uh, off or deprive men of that, they should know that um, if he's smart, if he's a go-getter, uh, if he's good to himself, he's going to go and get it elsewhere. What would you do? Just like if your man is not providing you with financial support and, uh, you know, security, you go and get it elsewhere if you can, if you can, right? If you still have the looks, if you, if you still want it by others, you know it. Uh, if your man is uh, is unable to provide you with the things you want, you jump ship at a in a New York minute. And men are like that too. If they cannot get what they want, you know, if they have the urge, uh, just like a dog gets horny, it's the same thing. You see how dogs disappear to get their needs met? Well, we're all human beings too. If a man wants it and he cannot get it from you, if he's smart, he'll go and get it somewhere else. What other choice does he have? So this is, uh, believe it or not, one of the biggest problems next to, next to financial arguments that uh, marriages, uh, relationships uh, fall apart. She looks at it as a chore, as something she would reluctantly do when she's, uh, uh, you know, uh, been given everything that she wants. And he looks at it as something that he signed up for when he agreed to go into a relationship with you. If you don't understand that, whether you're a man or a woman, you don't understand the very basic one-on-one uh, basis of relationships. And as for me, I suggest that you go and get it where you want if you don't get it well, where you're supposed to. We only live once. I've discussed this before. Men who deprive themselves of, uh, of regular uh, sex and release of uh, sperm, that uh, not only is, uh, causes uh, uh, irritation, anger, and uh, frustration, and um, a psychological factors, uh, problems, it also causes, uh, contributes to prostate cancer. So keep that in mind. 
facts of life. I'm just a messenger here. All the best.